This video will guide you through the process of submitting a final payroll submission and ceasing an employee through the Ross payroll reporting screens. Firstly, log into Ross in the usual manner by uploading your digital certificate, entering your password, and then clicking Log into Ross. Once you have logged into Ross, you will be taken to the My Services screen. Click on the Submit Payroll link on this screen. On the next screen, you will have the option of submitting payroll by file upload or online form. Click Submit Payroll by online form. You will be taken to a screen listing all of the employees linked to your PREM registration. You can also search for a particular employee by PPS number or by name. Find the employee you wish to cease and click select next to this employee. You will be taken to the submission item screen where you can enter the payroll details for this employee. Click update in the employee details section. The employee details pop-up will then open. On this pop-up, complete the date of leaving field with the cessation date and enter any other relevant information. Click save. You will be returned to the submission item screen. You can continue to enter all additional payroll information by clicking update in the pay and deductions and other pay and deductions section and entering the appropriate details. You can enter zero values for pay and tax if required. When finished, you must click the checkbox in each section to confirm the details entered are correct. Once you have done this, click Save. You will be taken to the Submission Items Review screen, where you will see the payroll details you have entered for this employee. You can click Add Employee to make a payroll submission for an additional employee, or alternatively, click Submit Payroll to proceed. You will be taken to the Ross Sign and Submit screen. Enter your password and click Sign and Submit. Finally, you will be taken to the Acknowledgement screen, which will indicate your submission has been successfully received. Your payroll run reference and submission ID are displayed for reference. Once we have processed this payroll submission, the employment will then be ceased on our records.